Hey everyone, Jared Beckwith here. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how our EEG software feature of artifact reduction that reduces things on EEG brain recordings that aren't coming from the brain because you don't want any noise on the recording. You want it to be nice and clean for the doctor to read. So our feature artifact reduction does just that. Back in the day, to get rid of muscle activity on the EEG record, you'd have to use something called a high frequency filter and that, my friends, it was good back in, you know, the early 2000s. But now that we're in 2022, we have better ideas of how to reduce noise on the EEG than these just these ancient filters that were around forever. Now these are the state of the art methods to getting rid of noise on the EEG. Now that's good and all, but how can we use this noise reduction feature to improve other future features on an EEG machine. Well, my friends, so another thing you can do with an EEG machine is calculate the trends of the brain data. So you can display pretty much an hour of EEG recording just on one single page. And why is that important? Well, it saves you a lot of time. You're able to go through and see the trends and the changes in the brain state over time just on one single page. And you can put an hour per page, 30 minutes per page. There was a study that showed it took a neurologist with the help of EEG brain trends, an average of eight minutes per 24 hour EEG recording, just to review it. Now, without using the help of brain trending software, they're gonna take on average 38 minutes to go through a whole 24 hour recording. And they're gonna have to be completely focused for that 40 minutes, looking at it, and not any help with the trends. So trending should be included on every EEG software package, but the problem is it's in some hospitals already, but a lot of EEG techs and doctors, they don't know how to use it because nobody properly explains to them how to use it. Uh, it uh, some version of it was in my hospital, but I never knew how to use it. We even had a little training on it, but I was like, I don't get it. And so I had to kind of figure it out myself. Now I can hopefully explain to you guys how to use it so you guys can read EEGs 79% faster as well. So here's a picture of a normal EEG I'll show you guys right now on my software. Now, if you look at our software's top two trending panels, you see the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain, they look pretty symmetric. Now, after using our artifact reduction, we're gonna see this red stripe in the middle really stand out around 10 hertz right down the middle that's showing the 10 hertz posterior dominant rhythm that's how we read an eeg on the trends now once you guys see it more and more you'll start to become more familiar with it and it'll become second nature and you won't be able to stop using the trends i know for myself i get anxious if i don't have them and my patient seizing especially so this is a good way to keep an eye on your patients with my software, Ion, my friends. Love you guys. Subscribe for more EEG videos, and I'll see you all on the next one.